Hi, welcome to Nuclear Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to talk about the uses and dangers of radioisotopes. Specifically, we're going to look at the uses of radioisotopes, radioisotope dating, nuclear power plants, medical applications, dangers and risks, and finally some nuclear practice problems. So let's start off by talking about the uses of radioisotopes. Radioactive isotopes have many beneficial uses. Radioactive isotopes are used in medicine and in industrial chemistry. They are used for radioactive dating, tracing chemical and biological processes, industrial measurement, nuclear power, and detection and treatment of diseases. Carbon dating. The isotope used in carbon dating is radioactive carbon-14, and its half-life is 5,730 years. It's used to date previously living carbon-based materials. Living organisms use carbon-14 in a similar way to non-radioactive carbon-12. When an organism dies, the radioactive carbon-14 decays to carbon-12 and is not replaced. Carbon dating tracks the amount of radioactive carbon in an organism over time. Dating geological formations. The isotope used is radioactive uranium-238 that decomposes into stable lead-206. Used to map the evolution of geological formations based on the presence of radioactive uranium. Over time, the amount of lead in the sample will increase while the amount of radioactive uranium will decrease. By examining the ratio of uranium to lead, geological formations and rocks can be dated. Nuclear power. In the United States, two types of nuclear power plants exist, pressurized water reactors and boiling water reactors. Similar to power plants that use fossil fuels, water is turned into steam, and steam drives the turbine generators to produce electricity. Unlike fossil fueled plants, the source of heat comes from nuclear fission where uranium atoms split in a controlled environment and energy is released. Medical applications. Certain radioisotopes that are quickly eliminated from the body and have short half-lives are important as tracers in medical diagnosis. Many other isotopes are used in the treatment of various disorders and diseases. Any radioisotope used to follow the path of material in a system is called a tracer. Isotopes used in medical applications. Iodine-131, used both in the detection and treatment of thyroid conditions. Cobalt-60, cobalt-60 emits large amounts of gamma radiation as it decays. These rays can be aimed at cancerous tumors and destroy cancerous cells. Technetium-99, used in the detection of cancerous cells in tumors so that the tumor can be detected by a scan. Dangers and risks of the use of radioisotopes. There are inherent risks associated with radioactivity and the use of radioactive isotopes. Risks can include biological exposure, long-term storage and disposal, and nuclear accidents. Overexposure to radiation. Radiation can damage normal tissue. High doses of radiation can cause serious illness and potentially death. Radiation can cause mutations in DNA that can be passed on from generation to generation. There are some inherent risks with nuclear power plants. The disposal of radioactive waste and control rods can be an issue. Now let's do some practice problems. So what I'd like you to do is read the two problems on this slide, answer them, and then check your work. Welcome back. How did you do? Which radioisotope is used in dating geological formations? We have iodine-131, uranium-238, calcium-37, and francium-220. The correct answer here is uranium-238. Uranium-238 is going to be what we associate with dating geological formations. Which nuclides are used to date the remains of a once living organism? The correct answer here would be A, which is carbon-14 and carbon-12, because a once living organism is going to contain carbon. Hey look, some more practice problems. Once again, I'd like you to pause the video, read and answer the problems, and then check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. 
A radioactive dating procedure to determine the age of a mineral compares the mineral's remains amount of isotope 238 and isotope, the only correct answer here would be lead 206 because uranium 238 will decompose to this more stable form. Which radioisotope is used to the diagnosis of thyroid disorders? The correct answer here is iodine-131. Uranium-238 have extremely long half-lives and we don't want that. And cobalt-60 is used more in treating cancerous tumors. More practice problems. Pause the video, do the questions, check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. Which isotope is used to treat cancer? Carbon-14 is more with radioactive dating. Uranium-238 has a half-life that's way too long to use in medical treatment. Same thing with lead, which is much more stable. So the only answer here is cobalt-60. Which risk is associated with using nuclear fission to produce energy in a power plant? Depletion of hydrocarbons, depletion of atmospheric oxygen, exposure of workers to radiation, exposure of workers to sulfur dioxide. The only answer here that makes sense in the context of the question is C, exposure of workers to radiation. So what did you learn? We talked about the uses of radioisotopes. We talked about radioisotope dating, nuclear power plants, medical applications, dangers and risks, and then we did some problems at the end. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.